لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد واهتدى ومن يعص الله ورسوله فقد ضل وغبا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما من دابة في الارض الا على الله رزقها ويعلم مستقرها ومستودعها كل في كتاب مبين My dear brothers and sisters Imam Hakim Tirmadhi رحمه الله in his book Nawadir al-Usul has stated a story regarding the immigrants muhajirin of Ash'ari tribe when they migrated towards Medina <coughs> to meet Allah Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so they were on their way towards Medina but all of their food that was, it was used up, finished and they had nothing to eat so they sent one of their men towards Allah Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the hope that he will bring some food for them and Allah Messenger will arrange for their meals. So when this man, he went to Allah Messenger, he was on his door, and at that time Allah Messenger was reciting the verse of Surah Hud. وَمَا مِنْ دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِسْقُهَا There is not a moving creature on the face of earth but its livelihood, but its provision is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when he heard this verse from Allah's messenger, he thought for some time that I came to request for provision to Allah's messenger and Allah had promised that the provision of every creature, human being or any verse, is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's at that time he thought that مَلْ أَشْعَرِيُّونَ بِأَهْوَنِ الدَّوَابِ مِنَ اللَّهِ That the people of Ashri are not worse than other creatures. They are not worse than anyone in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah had promised to provide provision and risk to every creature, so what wrong we have done? Allah will also forgive us. So he returned, he went back without asking anything, without complaining anything to Allah's messenger. And his people, his companions, they were waiting for the food. So they asked him, Ma fa'ala nabiyu sallallahu What did he reply? He said, Abshiru faqad atakumul ghawz. Rejoice, be happy. The Allah's help is coming to you. So they got happy, they said Allah's messenger had promised and he will soon send the food. So they sent and in the same time two men came to them and they were carrying a large tray, wooden tray, full of food, full of meat and full of bread. So these people they got happy and they ate the food. Still the food remained. And they said that it is better to, to send this food back to Allah's messenger so that he can utilize it as he wishes. So they sent two people and they took the food back to Allah's messenger, the remaining food. When this tribe, when these people of Ashari tribe, they reach Allah's messenger, they thank Allah's messenger. Ya Rasulullah Ma ra'ayna aksara, aksara wa la atyaba ta'aman min ta'amika. Allah's messenger, we never tasted our food 
and delicious and more tasty and more in more in number than the food you sent towards us. Allah Messenger said, Inni ma ursid ilaykum ta'ama. I did not send any food towards you. They said, you sent you sent a food towards us and then they stated the whole story to Allah Messenger. At that time Allah Messenger said, Hada, this food is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I did not say, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you are Razak, He sent a food towards you. So my dear brother, imagine and look at the uh, trust and reliance of that new Muslim person, a new Muslim, how much he had that reliance and tawakkul upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he listened this word, فَمَا مِنْ دَابَةٍ فِي اللَّهِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِسْمُ This is incurred by our deen. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَدَوَكَّ لِلْمُؤْمِنُونَ The believer, they must put their trust in their Lord, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى الْحَيِّ الَّذِي لَا يَمُوتِ And put your trust and rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is ever living and will never die. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَوَكِّرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who put their trust in their Lord, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our deen is the most beautiful deen. It encourages and commands us to set off, to go out for work, for earning livelihood, but don't rely on your abilities, but don't rely on your means of income. We are encouraged to go out to work hard. Allah says, Why is our food in this salah? Fantashiru figures. When you have prayed, then go out and set out and seek the provision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ لَدُولًا فَمْشُوا فِي مَنَاكِ بِهَا وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِسْقِ See and walk in the path of this earth. We have made this earth such severe to you. We have made this earth as a servant to you. So walk in the path of this earth. وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِسْقِ And eat the provision from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He did not say وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِسْقِهَا وَكُلُوا مِنْ رِسْقِ Risk from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only He is Razzaq. إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقِ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَرَزَّاقِ إِنَّ سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَالَى No one else. Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ لَا يَمْدِكُونَ لَكُمْ رِسْقَ فَأَرْضَهُ عِنَّ اللَّهِ الرِّسْقِ وَعْبُدُوهُ وَشْكُرُوا لَهُ That those you worship accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your idols, your other people that you worship other than Allah, they have no control over your provision. فَبْنَهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ This seek provision only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because He controls all provision. He controls all means of risk. Only He provides you. No one else. إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقِ My dear brother, there are two examples. One example is a kafir. The second example is of a Muslim. Kafir Qalun, his example is mentioned in the Qasas, who had a great wealth. فَإِنَّ مَفَاتِحَ هُلَا تَنُوهُ بِالْعُصْبَةِ وَالْقُوَةِ So, what did he believe? He said, إِنَّ مَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عِنْدِي This great wealth, this treasure has been given to me by my ability, by my knowledge. إِنَّ مَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ If I have this wealth, it is because of my knowledge, my experience. And the moment, قَالَ الَّذِي عِنْدَهُ عِلْمٌ مِنَ الْكِدَابِ A moment who had the knowledge of Allah's book, according to some scholar, he was Salman himself. He said, هَذَا مِنْ فَضْلِ رَبِّيَ This is Allah's grace upon me. And who was Salman? You know that he made dua to Allah. Oh Allah, give me a... a Bestow upon me a mighty kingdom. لا ينبغي لأحد من بعدي which will not be given to anyone after me. He was given a mighty kingdom. Kingdom rule over men, rule over animals, and birds, even jinn, and even فسخرنا له الريح. 
He was given rule and control over air. And he, when he saw the throne of the queen of Saba, what did he say? This is Allah's grace upon me. He is testing me whether I am thankful or unthankful to him. When he was going out with his armies, the ant, it shouted to other ants. And there May Salman and his army shall not crush you. So when he listened, Fatabassam, he smiled. to be thankful to you for your this ni'mah, for your these blessings. So this is Iman. So we believe a believer believes that whatever he earns, whatever he gains. It is by the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we are encouraged to go out to work hard and to seek for wealth, to seek for provision, but put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second is, Allah, He who puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will suffice him. We must be sure that our provision has been fixed for us. Even before our, before our birth, Nabi Salam said, when a, a newborn baby is in the womb of his mother, before his birth, Allah sends an angel and he writes four things about this baby. The baby is not, is still in the womb of his mother. Uh, the angel writes four things. First is, Yaktu Ajala, Wariska. He writes, his the whole life, how much, how long he is going to stay in this world. All times, everything is written. What is not his provision? And his deed, his, what will he do in this world? Every action. And and it is written whether he will be a lucky or unlucky person. Mean whether he will get Jannah or hellfire. So this is before our part, it is written. Allah has promised. A believer, he works hard, but he does not rely on the means. He rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That the thing that you could not attain, not be grieved. You should not be worried about. It. You must believe it was not written in my fate. It was not written for me. Someone asked Imam Hassan Basri rahimahullah, "Ma sibu zuhdika fi dunya? What is the secret of your being happy and contented person in this world?" He said four things. What is first? He said, "Ali ulu an nariski." لا يأخذه غيري فاتم أن قلبي. I know that no one can snatch me of my wealth. The risk Allah has written for me, no one can take it me. No one can take and snatch from me. This is our issue, our belief. The أن رزقي لا يأخذه غيري. No one can deprive me of my risk because this is in the hand of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And we must believe. That no person, no human being can die until he finish and consume and use all of the risk that is written for him. Nabi Rasulullah says, "Inna ruh al Qudus qad nafasa fi rawi an al nafs al damud hatta astaqmin al istaha." That the angel Jibril, it has been, it has whispered to me, "An al nafs al damud hatta astaqmin al istaha." No human being, no nafs, no soul can die until he uses all the provisions that have been written for, Allah, for him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No person can die. So this should be our belief. And it makes, our, it makes us satisfied that Allah has written and we can never die until we, can, we use everything that has been written for us.
And my dear brother, when we put this trust upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Nabi Islam says, لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ تَتَوَكَّلُونَ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِي لَرَلَكَكُمْ كَمَا يَرْزُقُ الطَّيِّبِ تَغْلُوا خِمَاصًا وَتَرُوكُ كِطَالًا That if you put your trust, that is due upon you, means real trust, full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will give you provision and risk as He gives to the birds. They set off their nest in the morning when their stomachs are empty. With empty stomachs they leave their nest. But when they return, their stomachs are full of food. Their stomachs are full. So this should, it should be our thought more than this one. And Allah has promised, Rizullah Zariyah, of his Samai Rizlukum, Wamaatu Your provision is in the heavens. Mean it is not in the control of anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of his Samai Rizlukum, Wamaatu Adu. By the Lord of the heavens and earth, Allah swears, by the Lord of heavens and earth, innahu lahaq. It is a truth, it is a fact, mean it is a full certainty that your provision is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a fact that you speak. You, as I am talking to you. I am speaking as you speak to your friends and relatives. In the, the, as this is the fact. This is also the fact that your provision is in the heaven and in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one can deprive you. the nafsal and the mood hatta tasta. And the Muslim says that in the risk layatulubu la'ab a man's risk is behind him, finding him, and the man chasing him, the risk of man is chasing him, is, is, is running behind him, just like the death. As death is behind us, and the time of death will come, it will overtake us, in the same way our risk is behind us. So this is should be our belief. And if we have such belief, Allah says, There is a beautiful story regarding the Imam Hatim al Asam, Rahimahullah, the great and pious scholar of the third Hijra or the third of the third century. When he, he decided to set off, to set out, to go out for performing Hajj, he called his children and said that I am going to perform Hajj. So they said, Who we we'll look after us, after, after you. So he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I, I hope inshallah, he gave them some food and, but the children, they started weeping. One of his daughter, he said, don't weep. Our father is not our razaq. Our razaq is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let him go to perform hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us whatever we need. It. Because he has promised. So um, a young daughter, she said, our desire is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imam Hatim al Asad rahimahullah, he went out to perform hajj, and the food after some break finished, and the children now they were worried, worried. And that daughter made dua to oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't humiliate me, oh Allah, don't disgrace me. I had promised. So in those days, the king of that time, he went out to, for hunting. When he was coming back, so they had, they had no water to drink. So at that time, he said, go to this home and bring water. So the army, the people, they went to that home, and it was the home of Imam Hatim al Asam Rahimahullah. So the children, they gave them water, and when he drank, he said, whose home is this? They said, it is the home of Imam Hatim al Asam Rahimahullah. He said, where is he? They told him that he had gone to Babam Hajj. And asked, he asked him who is looking after his children. He said, nobody. So he had a wallet full of jewelry, full of gold. He threw this wallet in the home of Imam Hatim al Asam. And he said, Man ahabbani fal yafal mithli. He who loves me, he should also do what I, I have done. So all people, all Muzara and ministers who are with, all, who are with him, so 
they also followed him. They also threw whatever they had in their pockets. So all things, when the children of Imam Hatim, when they found in their home, they got very happy and their daughter started weeping, crying. I said, why are you weeping this time? She said, so this is a makhluk, a king, he's a human being like us. He, when he gave his favor to us, he gave us too much. What will happen if Allah subhanahu wa gets happy with us and he blesses us and he gives his grace towards us? So my dear brother, we must try, we must go out to earn, but we must try put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in Allah huwa al-razzaq. Razzaq in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wa man yadawakkal ala Allah fa wa hasbu. He who relied upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will suffice him. He will suffice him. And a man who decides that I will never ask anybody. There are some people who have these fake excuses. No, we can't live without mortgage, without indulging in in trust and in dealing in haram, al-kuhar, so and so. My dear brother, if you have trust, Nabi Islam says, Salasatun muqsin wa'ala Allah, that three people, I can swear for them. And who is the first? That a man who wants to earn only halal, and he decides decide never to indulge in haram, I promise that Allah subhanahu wa will surely save him from haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to feed the fallen. In alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'ad. Aal ke khutbah jumma ka khulasa ye hai. Ke ahle iman ko Allah ta'ala ne is dunya me nek a'mal karne ka jahan hukum diya. وہاں رزق حلال کمانے کا حکم بھی دیا ہے رزق حلال طلب الحلال فریضہ بعد الفریضہ رزق حلال کمانا اس کو کوشش کرنا اس کی جستجو کرنا یہ فرائض کے بعد عبادات کے بعد یہ دوسرا بڑا فریضہ ہے رزق حلال کی جستجو ومنہم من یقول ربنا اتنا فی الدنیا ومالا من نخلا ومنہم من یقول ربنا اتنا فی الدنیا حسنا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسْنَ وَقِنَا عَلَىٰ بَنَّا یہ اہلِ ایمان کا شیوہ ہے کہ وہ جہاں اللہ سے آخرت مانگتے ہیں وہاں اللہ سے دنیا بھی مانگتے ہیں رَبَّنَا آجِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا اسلام یہ نہیں کہتا کہ تم گھر میں بیٹھے رہو اور اللہ کا رزق مہاری تک پہنچتا ہے گا بلکہ نہیں فَمْشُو فِي مَنَاكِ بِهَا وَقُلُو مِنْ رِزْقِ تم زمین میں چلو پھرو فَإِذَا قُودِ جب نماز پڑھ لو اب زمین میں پھیر گا وقتا وہ من فضل اللہ یہ توکل کا معنی یہی ہے توکل یہ ہے وَالْإِعْتِمَادُ عَلَى اللَّهِ مَعَ الْأَخْضِ بِالْأَسْبَابِ کہ اللہ پر توکل کرنا اور ساتھ اسباب کو تلاش کرنا وہ ذرائع جن ذرائع سے انسان روزی کماتا ہے یہ جائز ذرائع یہ اللہ کا حکم ہے ہمارے پر لیکن ایمان یہ ہے کہ اس پر اعتماد مت کرو یہ مت سمجھو کہ میں میری اپنی abilities ہیں میرا اپنی ہمت ہے میرے اپنی صلاحیت ہیں یا میرا یہ خاندانی وقت یا مجھے فلانے یا میری insurance company ہے نہیں رزاق صرف اللہ کی راہی ان اللہ ہوا رزاق رزاق صرف اللہ ہے اور جب اللہ رازق ہے اس نے یہ بھی کہہ دیا کہ روزی صرف حلال ذرائع سے کمانی انہوں اسلام نے فرمایا کہ اللہ نے تمہاری روزی لکھ رکھی ہے فَأَجْمِرُوا فِي الْطَلَبِ حلال طریقے اختیار کرو یہ ہمارے بہانے ہیں اگر ہم جھوٹ نہیں بولیں گے کمائی نہیں ہو سکتی اگر ہم موقع نہیں لیں گے مکان نہیں مل سکتا اگر ہم حرام میں شرکت نہیں کریں گے شراب کا روا نہیں کریں گے یہ نہیں کریں گے تو ہمارے روزی کہاں سے آسکتا ہے یہ ہمارے فیل ایکسکیوزز ہیں اللہ نے اب کہہ دیا ہے وَمَا مِن دَابَدٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِسْقُهَا کہ زمین میں چلنے پھرنے والا کوئی جانور ایسا نہیں جس کا رزق اللہ کے ذمہ نہیں ہے یا اتنی بڑی گرنڈی وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِسْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُوْعَدُونَ فَمَا رَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْإِتْنِ بڑی اللہ قسم اٹھاتے ہیں زمین و آسمان کے رب ہونے کی قسم ہے اِنَّهُ لَحَقْ یہ تمہاری روزی اللہ کے ذمہ ہونا 
ये सच बात है हकीकत है इस लमा अन्न तुम दंदिकून इसका ये हक है सच है कि तुम बोलते हो इससे भी बड़ी हकीकत ये है कि तुम्हारी रोजियां अल्लाह के जिम्मे है अभी हम दुनिया में आए नहीं थे हमारा राशन कार्ड अल्लाह ने पहले जारी कर दिया था इससे पहले पाकिस्तान में राशन कार्ड मिलते थे जिसके नाम पे राशन लिखा हुआ है उसको मिलना होता था अल्लाह ने हमारे पैदा होने से पहले हमारे नाम के राशन कार्ड जारी कर दिए थे अल्लाह ने इसको इतनी इतनी रोजी मिलनी है और वो मिलकर रहनी है एक लुकमा भी अगर रोजी में बाकी है उस वक्त तक कोई इंसान फौत नहीं हो सकता जब तक अपने हिस्से की रोजी पूरी खा नहीं देगा ये हमारा यकीन है और नबी ने फरमाया मुझे अभी अगर वही की जबीर अमीन ने वही कर दी है मुझ पर कि कोई नस नहीं फौत होगा जब तक अपने हिस्से की रोजी खा नहीं देगा तो आज मीर उफी तरफ अब ये इंसान पर मुनहसर है कि वो हलाल जरा से रोजी हासिल करता है या हराम जरा से हासिल करता है ये हमारे बहाने अल्लाह के दूसरी कोई हैसियत नहीं है एक लुकमा भी अगर हम हराम का खाएंगे एक लुकमा भी कितनी इस पर फायदे हैं एक लुकमा में जो आदमी का जो हिस्सा वो हराम के माल पर पला है हराम के माल उसकी परवश हुई है फनार अबला वो जहन्न में चलने के लायक है वो जन्नत नहीं आ सकता है इसलिए आज हमें अपना यकीन पुख्ता करने की जरूरत है वो अल्लाह की जात पर कि अल्लाह ने हमारी रोजी लिख रखी है और कोई हमारी रोजी हमसे छीन नहीं सकता ना अल्लाह ने जिंदगी और मौत किसी के अख्तियार में दी ना अल्लाह ने किसी की इज्जत और जिल्लत किसी के अख्तियार में रखी और ना अल्लाह ने किसी की रोजी किसी के अख्तियार में रखी है वो सब चीजें एक अल्लाह के हाथ में है आयात है अल्लाह तोफ़ी توفنا مسلمين وجعلنا من الصالحين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله